Hello everyone, this is Captain. Welcome to Delta Unit. Today we are about to build F1 engine. Anyway, it's gonna be a 90 degree six cylinder. Of course, magnesium for the lightweight. As you can see, the weight is 10.8 and the aluminum billet is gonna be 17.3, which is uh, magnesium is way lighter than uh, aluminum billet. Problem is that actually the regular F1 car stroke is gonna be about 30 something, 30 millimeter, basically 31, I guess. But uh, in the game, I can only go to 40. So I have to actually make the engine extremely over square with increasing this one. So which increasing the bore uh, will increase the engine capacity so or displacement i guess i should say we're gonna go for this is b 80 millimeter it this is gonna be over a square but i have to make it about 3.3 to 1 basically something close to that because in a real f1 car is about 100 something millimeter of bore and about 31 millimeter of stroke so it's actually over 3 to 1 but we don't need that because in this game you cannot go over 12k rpm so we cannot reach the same level as f1 engine in rpm so it's pointless to go for over three or close to three so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just put it on 100 millimeter or 10 centimeter basically 10 centimeter is about four inch four inch of four in the piston i know it's a dual overhead camshaft and it has to be about 24 right so it is the correct size it has to be aluminum billet race and the quality has to be all the way up to the top up to the roof because f1 cars are expensive and this is the real really basic of it and i do my best to create 1.8 liter and an f1 which can produce i'm going for 600 horsepower but if we get more than that then it is what it is okay i go with billet steel because we need the rpm as you can see i can go for billet steel heavy but i will change it maybe i gotta see if the engine is gonna be fucked up because of the sorry sorry excuse my language if the engine is gonna be bad because of the torque if it has high torque so then i can i i have to change it basically the crank i have to change the crank connecting rods is gonna be titanium because it's not only gold gold color at least in here because they are titanium is gonna be the same as this if you he heat it basically not too much but if you heat it more than that it's gonna be turn out to be purple blue green whatever the temperature is gonna be so the connecting rod is gonna be titanium and the pistons i'm gonna maybe go for forged light because of again rpm we need the rpm we do not need ba balancing mass we need to make it lightweight so again the quality is going to be plus 15 compression ratio i'm going to set it up to 10 to 1 for now i will change it this has to be all the way up because this is going to be all the way up we're gonna put pvt variable valve timing i guess on all cams we're not gonna put any like uh, honda civic or anything like that we're just gonna set it up to none maybe i change it to this one i i have no idea what it is okay i have no idea anyway the, so this one is has to be at 100 you can't see the chart but we will after we finished up to testing the stiffness maybe 60 or 70 we'll change it after quality has to be up there i'm gonna go with turbocharged one one set of one pair of turbocharge and i'm gonna set this one all the way to a thousand and uh, this has to be bigger than that because otherwise we're gonna blow up the turbo and maybe 10 pounds of boost i'll adjust it later injection direct injection per cylinder fuel map for now 70 advanced it has to be because formula one or f1 cars actually use pretty awesome if i found some stuff like that i'll put it in the video so you can see why it's advanced pr pretty advanced they, they have like basically a pre-ignition which it goes all the way which basically it goes in different direction in the piston so you have balanced or equal firing not firing but ignition something in the piston so your piston won't uh, get knocking because the uh, engine it's so under square not not on, not under over square sorry we're gonna go with ethanol and we're gonna go with the 85 maybe i'm gonna set it for here now for now uh, basically turbo race 
I will adjust them later. We don't need catalyzer, we don't need muffler, we don't need none of this. So basically, right now, it, it is creating about 400 horsepower, but we have a lot of unutilized octane in the engine. So we need either increase the compression ratio, decrease the fuel map, or increase the boost if we have a turbo, which we have. And the turbo is actually looking pretty good, so I'm gonna just crank it up all the way to maybe 600. I gotta fix this one. 20 pounds of boost and... A little more and less than this one maybe not that much because we need 40 okay uh, this is good increase this one a little bit so we get around 600 uh, manifold it's so cool so we can decrease the size to increase the speed or velocity of the air but that will increase the temperature so we gotta keep our eye on that one too i think it's about i think it's about okay because the car has to the engine basically has to keep up that much the headers are pretty cold they can handle way more than that so i'm gonna decrease the size to increase the velocity again but that will result in increasing the temperature and the exhaust is too much so i'm gonna i want my headers to have more temperature than actual exhaust so basically these are about the same airflow but i saw about 660 so yeah 660 this is perfect Oh, we are gonna get more than that. So why don't we just play with that thing? Maybe like this? No, this is perfect. So air, air is okay. The fuel map, maybe we gotta... We can actually get more than six, more than this because the fuel is not all the way up. The compression ratio can go higher by increasing the fuel map. Basically using a richer fuel on the fuel efficiency or whatever or adding more or, or using richer fuel but using also richer not richer but more pressure on the boost so i guess that's pretty much it so i'm just gonna maybe decrease it actually a little bit to have less horsepower but colder turbo so it can be more reliable so if i increase this one i will decrease the horsepower but i will increase the fuel efficiency and for this this is just a note or basically like a recommendation this is not error which is red or considered as it said this is just a recommendation which i will try to fix it by just adding a little bit more fuel and it's about 600 i can do it with this one but i don't think that maybe maybe let's get 600 action let's get it to 600 oh 599 hold on can i get that point one horsepower can i get that one <laughs> come on okay we count that as a 600 okay and by the way, I put a limit to my engine. It had more, it, it has basically 660 on average. I could actually go further than that, but it has to be lasting. I mean, reliability has to be up, which it is. Except the engine block, because we are making more than five, 550 horsepower. I could use aluminum billet, but that's heavier. So I'm just going to go with this one. How much? Hold on. You guys are not seeing the engine. Anyway, the testing. The engine. Sounds okay, but the idle is not there. Idle is about 2,000. So we're just gonna crank this one up about 2,000. I'm just gonna this one up 2,000. This is gonna be the idle. Look at the sound. Those are getting hot. They're getting hot.
It is loud. <laughs> it is loud. <laughs> it is so loud. I'm gonna do a pull, but it, the engine is it's so loud. I mean, come on. Wait, it can go hard. It can go faster than that. But why the game itself is going way slower? Uh, by the way, I have to add this one. The speed that you saw, it, it, it's not real. Basically, it's not real. It, I mean, if this is 500, if you count that, it's not 500. It's basically... Hold on, let me actually count that. Let me tell you how much RPM is this. <clears throat> but this is... Uh, the thing that you're seeing visually is not the same as the real one. So basically, I'm just gonna count the rotation and one two three four so basically this is doing it's doing four rotation per 10 seconds and if you do it do the math four rotation per 10 seconds if you do it like uh, times six it's gonna be 24 rotation a minute which is not the same as 500 okay this is not this is not the actual one that you like to see so don't look at it and say oh the engine it's so it's moving so fast if it's the idle hold on the idle it has to be this is not this okay this is i don't think this is 500 rpm either i think this is gonna be about 500 Yeah, maybe this is 500 in real life. But don't look at the uh, visual on the RPM. So that's not real. And we're just gonna add some colors. We be, we definitely gonna use this one because in my opinion, it's beautiful. And you can say otherwise. We actually gonna use carbon fiber to say that it is uh, lightweight. This has to be carbon fiber. But about this one, I doesn't have the magnesium. So I go with the aluminum and make it lighter. So it looks like magnesium, which is not a magnesium. It's not MG, but I'm going to make them. So basically they look similar to the block, but it's not the same thing. It's they're, they're aluminum. This was the video. If you want to see it on the track or inside of a car, just drop a comment down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I will test it on a car and I will design a car for it. And stay tuned. Stay focused, everyone. And Captain signing out.